So the whiplash for today's students remote learning to in class and back out again. It has obvious mental health impacts that parents know well, as do counselors and school psychologists. They spoke with our Anusha Roy. Starting next week, the Boulder Valley School District is going to all remote learning. Is there a concern or signs that maybe uh, a kid needed some counseling or extra help could go unnoticed because you're not seeing them in person as much? Absolutely. Those subtle pieces of being able to read somebody's body language, being able to see their eyes and know, oh, huh. I, there's something different in your eye. And that's where we're asking people to say, if you're worried about somebody, please tell one of the counselors, tell the principal so that we can do that extra phone call to check in. What Katie McGee, a mental health advocate, is seeing are layers of concern. It's anxiety around um, their health, their wellness, their school, their academics. It might be anxiety around I don't want somebody to see the house that I'm in. In response, the district says they have layers of resources to help even while learning remotely. Through phone calls, through texts, through email. For students that have been at risk of suicide or had um, serious emotional disabilities. Our teams have been very aware of them and have outreached to those students. The effort is matched within Denver Public Schools. You know, if we have a family that we've been worried about and they've disappeared, trying to find those families. You say that's happening a lot or that's kind of a smaller percentage? A smaller number. They've adapted messages about COVID-19 for their younger kiddos to more mature conversations about the virus for their older students. And whenever there's a silver lining to talk about more sleep, and more time with parents. We're gonna take it. Some students are actually doing better with remote learning than not. Want to talk about resources here? Safe to tell crisis services available to you 24 7, including right now. And it is encouraged to call in if that is something that will help you. And if you're looking for a place to start, you can always just reach out to your teacher or the counselor or the principal. All of them are ready and on standby to help families in whatever way they can, Kyle. Mental health douche is so much of a concern that we know that their districts are like ingraining this into their classwork almost. Yeah, so DPS said that they've actually built into student schedules 20 minutes a day to work on their social emotional health. So essentially what that means is every day these kids are working on how do you handle your anger, your stress and your anxiety and they're constantly working on those skills, which honestly just sounds like something that would be great for all of us at this point. For sure, something that the kids are struggling with that I know us adults are, are dealing with as well is just just the uncertainty of it all. You know, what I mean, kids are, are question machines mm -hmm. and no adult can give them a yep. certain answer about the future. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's a lot for them, right? Because, you know, they also have that anxiety of they're excited to go back to class, but then at the same time, they're worried about potentially bringing a virus back home. And so they're trying to just provide as many tools as possible to navigate something that's just really hard for everyone to figure out right now. Yeah, yeah. If my two-year-old talks about germs at the park, I cannot imagine working through this with yep. an elementary schooler. Thank you, Nusha.